Hey everybody, FunshineX here, back on the Dystopia Cube server. Tonight we are going to collide particles. That's right, we are going to make some strange matter. Uh, antimatter takes a gigantic particle, particle accelerator and it would take over, I think, 2,000 wool, which we don't have right now. So let's start small with some strange matter and maybe we'll work up to antimatter soon. Uh, but strange matter allows us to duplicate items, which is going to be really cool. Maybe I'll just duplicate wool. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so to get started, uh, we're going to need two particle accelerators because we're going to want to collide them together um, to get the strange matter. So I should have everything I need to make these two particle accelerators. Cool. And then we are going to need some electromagnets to contain the explosions. So we want six uh, electromagnets. Glass won't work on this, so make sure it's re real electromagnets. Um, I've already got my energy cube. I've got a... No, I didn't get the energy cube. Yeah, I've got the Tesseract. But here's my cube. I've already crafted an elite energy cube here. I'm going to need some universal cable to wire that up. I'm going to need a little bit of redstone. Let's just go with some vanilla redstone. And maybe two repeaters, just in case. We're going to need a lever. Uh, just one lever and we're gonna need some blocks uh, to contain the explosions um, I put in not cement um, concrete reinforced concrete recipe in here uh, which is pretty cool it's like super durable so if something happens bad <laughs> this it won't kill us so let's get a whole stack of this stuff it takes a little bit to build because it's got to combine water here um, but that was really easy to do over here. I added a uh, liquid transposer. So if you, the recipe for a bucket, you put in an empty bucket, it'll give you a full bucket back. So that was really easy to do to our system. I really like our uh, applied energistics. Hey, I got it right that time. Almost got it wrong. <laughs> okay, so we have the test rack, we got energy for it. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some way to catch it. The only way I figured the easiest way to catch this is to use hoppers. Um, you could also use a uh, void pipe, or not void pipes, obsidian pipes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead with like a bunch of hoppers on the ground. And while those are crafting, let me get a chest. Oh, come on, I want the diamond chest. Thank you. I think the hoppers were using up the other ones. Okay, I think that's everything we need. Um, I'm also going to hide this somewhere, so I'm going to get a teleporter. And. I think we have the ability to make this now. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if this recipe is all done. No, obsidian ingots. Are you crafting them or not? Let's go check. We may not have put obsidian here. Yeah, this one's only doing en enriched. So I've got to go do the obsidian myself, which is not bad. Because uh, I can get some polarized real quick. Oh, there's obsidian ingots right there. What are you talking about? What do you need? Like you probably need like nine of them, right? Uh, teleporter. Yeah. Okay. It does need nine of them or eight of them at least. I've got seven. So that's why it's waiting for one more. Let's go ahead and take these obsidian over. Put some city in a frame or a pressure plates here so that it closes the door behind me. No one was closing the door behind them and it was bugging me. So now I don't have to worry. So let's go ahead and grab this steel and bronze while we're here. And who? Ugh. Come on. I've got all this leftover tin in there when I need one with a diamond in it. Is this one full of coal? Yep. Hmm. And if I break it, it'll probably just retain itself. Oh, maybe it's been a while since I made this. Is it in here? No. Oh well. Well, someone made us 13 bars, <laughs> so we're gonna use them. I'll have to work on automating that later. Uh, and then whoever put tin in there <laughs> instead of diamonds. 
Um, okay, so now we should be able to make our teleporter. There we go, perfect. Okay, is that everything we need? I think so. Um, let's just get another block that we have tons of to build out. How about Enderstone? That's pretty tough. Let's get like four blocks of that. That'll be like our main area. Okay, you know the drill. I'm going to go to our top secret area somewhere unknown and I will not show it because I know that the Europeans like to watch our videos or at least their viewers do and then report back to them. So I've got to go find a secret base, turn off my coordinates and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are ready. We are Let's just say we're in the end. Sure, not really, but yeah. <laughs> in an endstone cave. The only way in and out is a nice teleporter, which no one knows the coordinates to except for me. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get our blocks. Um, let's start with the actual electromagnetic mag magnet and particle accelerator. So what we're going to do, give us a little bit of room back there for the redstones. Let's put it right, let's say right here. So what we want is actually right here. I'm going to create like a, a sea of electromagnets, so these ones could be on the ceiling. All right, I don't know. <laughs> so this is the base of the tube that the particles are going to be transporting down, okay? Now we want the actual, I'm going to go ahead and put two blocks of concrete here and then put the particle accelerators right on top. And you want, these don't look like they have a facing, but they do. <laughs> it's really weird. So you always want to aim them where you want them to go when you place them. And if you don't, you can wrench them. It's just much easier to, to tell. Okay, so basically this one's gonna fire a particle out here. This one will fire a particle out here. And we want them to collide in the middle. And they need to fire at the, or collide at the, fire at the exact same time so they collide right in the middle. Otherwise we will not get the strange matter. Uh, so the other thing we need to do is get power to these. So let's go ahead and take our uh, energy test rack. I'm just going to put it, uh, let's see, I'm going to need redstone going there. So let's do energy from the top. Yeah, we can do energy from the, I also got to be aware of okay, when this, these collide, strange matter just flies out everywhere. So I want to make sure that we don't have any like gaps. So it's actually easier probably to feed them like this. Maybe we'll start from the wiring first and work our way backward. So if we go this way and go, um, let's see, I think I want a hopper there. So let's go, let's just go back. Yeah, this will work. All the way around, get rid of my torches that I put in the wrong spot. And the same thing with this guy. Now I won't be able to get back there, will I? <laughs> okay. Now if we put our energy cube here. No, oh, up there. That was weird, I was aiming down here. Uh, where's my wrench? Wrench it downward, and then we'll go ahead and put our Tesseract in the wall somewhere. There's something weird with Tesseracts and energy cubes where they won't pow power themselves directly next to each other, so I always have to put a uh, wire in between. Okay, so this test rack is private, receive only energy. Okay, so this should be getting energy now. It is not. I don't know what the, they, they say any green side should accept an output, but for some reason they don't always do that. Did I just hear particles going on? I hope not. I'm not ready. Oh, there's like a, a mob out there trying to get in. Hmm. Hold on, they receive only. These cubes just seem to be buggy sometimes. You know, well, they don't accept particles and then all of a sudden they do. Okay. Energy. OK. 
Could be that these are like sucking it all in. Let's do this. Nothing. Okay, well, I might have to go back and get maybe some conduit. Maybe that'll help. Um, this... Oh, maybe my nuclear power is gone. Because I moved my energy test rack over to the nuke area and, and maybe I ran out of juice. That could be it. Uh, Alright. Let's get this all figured out and then we'll go turn the energy on. So, let's replace you. torches back in so we don't get mobs in here okay so now we want redstone so that these both fire at the same time and the way I had it before I think I just went this way okay so we'll turn them on at the exact same time and That should be it, as far as we need. A uh, couple hoppers. So we need hoppers going into the accelerators so we can load them up with energy. Or load them up with particles, sorry. It's just any matter. We can put dirt, cobble, whatever. I'll probably put moonstone, because we have a billion of it. Uh, and I can put diamond chests on top of there if I want. Okay, so that's good. Then, let's get our reinforced concrete, and we're going to go pretty much just fill in everywhere we can so that if strange matter does come out, it flies into the front. And is that enough? Alright, we can test that and we can add more. I think I need one more layer. I've got the cement, so might as well. Okay, so that's our whole machine. And now we go like this. And I think the range was maybe four across. I think so. So let's put our diamond chest right here. And then hoppers feeding into it. Okay. Then we close this all up. Should probably fill in those gaps so that we don't get any strange matter down there. For being reinforced, uh, my Paxel breaks this pretty quick. <laughs> okay, that's our system, guys. That is everything we need. So I'm going to pause real quick and just go check on the nuclear power and find out why we're not getting anything through the test rack. And then I will be back, and we can turn this puppy on. Right now it's off, right? Okay, yeah, good. Uh, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm actually back in the nuclear reactor area because I wanted to show you uh, it all prettied up. <laughs> this is what I end up doing. Got some reinforced glass. You can watch the fans' turbines go without uh, getting, I don't know, whatever, out accessing the nuclear thing. Uh, one thing daring ner make me nervous about this is these things are very easy to break, these glass bricks, especially if you're walking around with a Paxel. So because of that, I moved my power storage all the way over here, and this is far enough away that if... Uh, we did get some le uh, nuclear leak and the plasma got out. Uh, it wouldn't be able to reach all the way here. So this whole thing might be destroyed, but we'd at least have 12 redstone con you know, energy conduits or cells worth of power to live on until the nuke uh, fusion reactor could come back online. So you are completely full, and all, st all 12 of these are completely full. You are set to input... Energy on channel one, private, send only. Okay, that looks perfect. I'm going to go back to base and get some redstone energy conduit, and maybe I can fix it with that. Be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. Um, 
it's working now. I don't know why this is any different. I mean, the universal cable should be fine. And it actually didn't wait, work, and then I broke the cube and put it back, and then it worked. So it makes no sense. Um, so let's go ahead and clean up all these bits here. Okay. I think we're good to go. Anything to do? I might wrap the redstone around so it's easier to turn on. Yeah, let's do that. Come here, lever. Okay, so if we go around like this. All right, I don't think those are close enough to the hoppers, but you know me and vanilla redstone. <laughs> okay, I fixed the wire that I broke, and we should be good to turn this on. Um, except I just, no, I only have eight cobbles, so. What we'll do is we'll put four cobble in each just for testing. Actually, let's do one. Um, okay, so it's ready to go. Status is idle. We have one cobble in both. We have energy powering it. And if we go ahead and turn this guy on, boom! <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Not much to see. Let's try it again with three particles. Oh, that's not good. I want them to go at the same time. So you see that one, it launched that one first, and then this one. I want them to go at the same time. That's why they have redstone. So, one and one. Why am I dying? Radiation! This causes radiation? Oh, goodness. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well that's not good. Did you did you work? I guess it did. Did we get any strange matter? No, not yet. So I'm going to go get, you know, a couple stacks of some moon dirt. Uh, well, let's stick with cobble for now because I'm not sure if moon dirt works. I just want to make sure these catch the strange matter and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, that was easy. Let's go ahead and make sure this is turned off. And we will load this guy. Fill them up to the brim, perfect. You can have a full stack there and a bunch of full stacks here. Nope, none of that. That's expensive stuff, you don't get that. Okay guys, um, we're gonna get radiation poisoning, that's a given. Uh, let's get our antidotes out just in case. So if we start dying too bad, we can eat these. And let's give it a shot, here it goes. It's gonna be loud, I'll turn it down if it gets too bad. Boom. Boom. Nice. Alright, I think we're good with this suit. The suit is we taking damage to the suit. Not that bad. Oh yeah, we're alright. There we got one. Look, did you see it? Strange matter! Nice! Alright, let's turn the sound down. That's crazy. There's another one. So, it looks like sometime they're not gonna get out of there. We'll just have to... Just have to deal if that happens. There's no real way I could suck it out of here. I guess I could put an obsidian pipe right there. Maybe we'll try that. It's kind of a graphics glitch that it doesn't look like they're at the same point, but as long as there's only one explosion, so you just hear the boom, boom, that's good. If it went boom, 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 then it, they'd be off, and you just need to toggle the redstone again. But that's all there is to collide particles. I know the wiki says they have to move in 50%, but this works, right? As long as they collide right in the middle. Uh, it says minimum two blocks away, so this one and this one are both hitting right in the middle, and I guess that's good enough to make strange matter. Doesn't make a ton. I mean, you can see we've got two and we've already gone through almost a stack of cobble on both sides. No, we already out of power. <laughs> We're out of power already. Why is that not charging? Ugh. 
Did this thing break again? Whoa! Tesseract broke. Alright, be right back. Okay guys, I got power running again. I've turned the sound completely off because it's getting really annoying. Uh, do you see how it jumps there? It goes from like 2% to 50% to 6%. It's, it's a bug. Somehow it bugs and it jumps to 50% and that's when you get the strange matter. So I don't know how it gets up to that speed that fast, but apparently it does. So we've gone through a stack and a half of cobble almost and we've got seven strange matter. We need five to start duplicating. And, yeah, I don't think I need more. It's not popping out like it used to, so I think I'm going to go get some obsidian pipes and see if I can get a better return if I run some pipes through here. I'm not sure if it's going to, like, blow up the pipes or if it'll be able to suck it out. So well, let me go do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so that seems to be a little bit better. Um, I just put the obsidian pipes trying to do this. There are occasions where it goes, like, back into the back there, and it, so it doesn't. you can't really solve that. <laughs> Um, other than like maybe pulling those down with pistons and rushing water through or something, but you have to do it when it's turned off. So I'm just going to leave it run. If we don't get our full 100% of our strange matter, it's fine. And there's also a case where it could go in this obsidian pipe, go in this gold pipe and come back out and then it would fly in the world. But then hopefully the pistons would just, or the hoppers would still just grab it again. So I think that's it guys, um, as far as strange matter is concerned. So let's go see what we can do with all this good stuff. Uh, is this stuff radioactive? I think this is just from being near the machine. I also want to check how much power I'm drawing from the other base. So let's go to the other base real quick and we'll check how the power is going. Okay, back in the nuclear fusion and fission area and we can see how much we're draining. <laughs> All right, so full, 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 okay. Good sign so far. All right, that guy's going down. Yeah, that's all right. Not that bad. He would last, you know, an hour or so. Long enough, at least, for all that cobble to go through the system. And I don't need this thing to be chunk loaded and, or, and run forever. Um, that The particle accelerator. I really just want to go over there, put 12 stacks of cobble in and run it for you know 10 minutes and then be done so we don't suck all our power out so i'm pretty content with that let's see what we can do with all of that strange matter be right back okay guys this is i believe is the block we need called the atomic assembler it takes a bunch of strange matter and then an input material and duplicates it with using energy that's all it does so we need a centrifuge and we need uh some elite circuits pretty sure we have all that in the system so one of those and three elite circuits. Okay. Let's see if we're missing anything. It's going through a ton of wool again, you can tell, because it's making wire. Okay. So we should now be able to come here and shift click that guy in there, and we made our atomic assembler. I'm just gonna start with wool. You know, might as well. We only have 64 of it, we need thousands. So let's use our wool. We've got our strange matter. Uh, where are we going to put this? We need lots of power. And I think this is a good enough area as any. I mean, this guy's almost always full. So, where are you guys getting your power? Mind the wall? Hmm. I think I'm going to take this energy cube out and put it right here. Actually, no, I want to put it in the ME system. Okay, change of mind. Put it back here. I guess I could put sound on again. A ton of sounds that come out of the game, but that particle accelerator is loud. Okay, right here is a good location. Oh, is this thing, I wonder if this thing's nuclear. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, so she's got power coming in at 120 volts, perfect. And what we do is we put six strange matter in here, and then we put our wall. And go. Wool cannot be duplicated. Okay, can we duplicate? I just want to see it work. Cobble. No. 
Antidote? Hey, it can duplicate an antidote. <laughs> I know it can duplicate diamonds, but we don't need diamonds. Let's check steel and bronze. Okay, steel looks good. Bronze looks good. And the other bronze looks good. Okay, so ingots look like they all work, so I'm just going to duplicate steel then, because we do need a ton of steel. I could put the rest of the strange matter away. I could put all this away, really. And you'll see that it's going to... Um, when this gets to 100, we should have two steel in there. Oh, that's going to be difficult to do with ME. This might have to be a manual thing. Because I want I want to pull out all but one. You guys tell me in the comments if there's a way to pull out all but one of something. And also it might... It would have to be like... An emerald pipe stickied or something, you know, like, ugh. I need logistics pipes. <laughs> but you can see this strange matter will stay in there forever. Um, the other five will get damaged. I think they have like 256 uses, so we get like four stacks of duplication. But yeah, that's that's how duplication works with strange matter. Uh, it probably puts, pulls out quite a bit of energy. And we can go look. I doubt we're having any problems with energy. And if I can't, after I'll go put it in the nuclear room, which is producing god awful amounts. Uh, let's see. Go up the steps. Alright, here is the main battery. Ooh, we are actually using power. This is the first time this thing has been less than full. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, everybody's pulling out 10 energy test racks here, and we're doing MFS as well. But yeah, this is the first time that this thing is draining. And this is powering all our systems pretty much, right? I think it's going... I don't know where it goes. Whoever built that other room went under the, under the ground and far and away. So we might, we might have to move it to the nuclear base. And since I'm not going to be... Um, using MS or ME after all might as well and if I come back it should what what it should do is it should fill up with steel get a stack of 64 and then stop using power I hope that's what happens and then I can just come back make sure we have enough power and then turn it on again so let's go ahead and stop it when it gets 100% here okay and see those are up to now three after they made three duplications break it and let's I'll meet you in the nuclear area okay guys we are back in the base I'm gonna go ahead and stick our atomic assembler right up top here and go ahead and stick all of our strange matter back in and then one of the steel ingots uh, 50 this this one's doing a hundred and it's you know, all used and then I think it's also using some from this one so at least 150 if not more per tick it looks like only 150 so now that this one is completely out, out, well, when it, once it is, it's probably going to start pulling from this one and maybe this one. So we can watch that real quick and just see if that's what happens. All right, so he is out. You're going to start draining it. You're 50. You're not doing anything. You're not. You're not. <laughs> okay. Who's, who's being used? It's like random... Oh, this guy. He's using 50, probably. And this guy's doing 100 and still draining. He's probably only doing 50. I don't know. So somebody tell me if we have 12 times 600,000 MJ uh, using 150 MJ a tick, how many seconds we can run this guy for until he's out. And hopefully that's longer than it takes to make a stack of whatever we make. Also, if you guys know what the best item to put in here, I mean, maybe steel's not the best item. Maybe there's something made of steel that I could duplicate better. I wonder. If I had... So I know I can't duplicate wool, but what about cable that's made from the wool? Do I have any in here? Are you turned off? Why aren't you getting power? Yeah. 
you are supposed to be in power from here, which is now empty. Okay, got to run the fissions a little bit more. Um, this could hurt. So let's go ahead and <laughs> do this. All right, we are set, guys. Oh no, I can't get in there to get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, that's fail. It's in there, but I can't get it. Um, what if I turned you around? Yeah, I could do that. Okay, she's working again. So let's grab some two fizzle fuel rods. And watch my suit just start eating it real fast. Throw one in there. One in there. Okay. So that now... Is my sound still off? I thought those made more noise. That should be filling up this guy here. Okay. It's going to wait for them to rise to temperature to get maximum speed on those, but... Okay, so you... What are you running at? 21 units per tick? Yeah, you're good. Do these guys need anything else? Not really, but... There's a marauder down there. Alright, let's see if he does okay. He better run fine off two fission reactors, my goodness. Two fission reactors, all they're doing is powering up. Really? He, he's using everything? What? This is not right. Let's see. Okay, so you are using 21, and this was probably using the rest. These things don't seem to be outputting as much as I thought they would. There it goes. Okay, now it's full. I thought it was 500k. Maybe these ultimate or universal cables are crappy. Because that's a lot slower than it used to be. I might put like some cubes just right on top of these or something. I mean, they are spinning pretty slow. What temperature at? 1250? Maybe it'll speed up more in a minute. Hmm. Need help from you guys, from the watchers figure out what I'm doing wrong if you guys are universal electricity experts and have done these before. Let me know if this cable sucks. I mean there's nothing really about it on the wiki. But this thing's completely filled up. This thing is using very minimal, like 4MJ. So these things should be cranking. Now they're spinning. Alright. Are you going fast now? It's a little better. Oh, he went like... Oh, why did the warning... Oh, because I... Oops. Set it back to... S Who put these down so low? I want 1850. Someone has sabotaged our fission reactors. Okay. That might be part of the problem. It's definitely not 500k per tick, whoever said that. I don't know. Maybe it's 500k per deter per cell? Something like that? Alrighty, anyway. Uh, what were we going to do? Oh yeah, we were going to go get some deuterium, weren't we? I can't remember what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, we were gonna try and duplicate cable. Yeah, make it happen. I'll try that off screen. The episode's getting late. Um, you guys can also give me candidates of good things to duplicate. I basically want things that we don't have a ton of that we need, basically. <laughs> um, and steel is one of those things. So, how are these guys doing? One's drained, two have almost drained. And they're doing well, they're holding up. But he eats, 
he eats power for breakfast that's for sure and that's just to make steel <laughs> so i don't think it's worth it i think we could just get coal and iron so i'm gonna go ahead and turn him off and i can leave those in there i don't think they'll pull any energy now let's just verify nothing is coming out now yeah okay back up to fine i will see you guys next time this has been funshine x for feed the beast infamy warfare pack on the dystopia cube server please go watch the rest of the americans uh, they can do a lot of cool things and also make sure to keep watching those europeans and let us know what they're doing um i know that they've got nukes somewhere in our base uh but we're gonna have a skirmish pretty soon and all we have to do is kill one of them and we will have their launch codes so that's all we need to do that's our objective is to kill a your one of the teammates uh the european guys sometime in the next couple days so we can get those launch codes find out exactly where the nukes are go disable them and if uh if they've got anything else up their sleeve let me know it's been fun x i'll see you later bye